it's um, it's been four years since I started to foil and uh, those of you that are sort of followed my channel from the very start knew that it was sort of uh, a fairly bumpy road with uh, almost no information out there as to how foils worked and what we needed to do to make them work um, we sort of just trusted in what the manufacturers manufacturers told us and, and we just went with it um, and it's funny how stuff now that I just go out and I can feel it immediately and go oh I need to do this I need to do that I need to change this I need to adjust that and it just works but in the early days we just didn't have any of that and um, it's a shame because uh, now you know we're able to, to pass that information along and people's journeys to get to a certain level are so much quicker um, and uh, yeah it's a shame because I think I probably would be a lot further on as well if I had had you know sort of better information better understanding in the early days um, but it's interesting when you look back at you know my original videos and, and sort of where I was going and, and to be quite honest I was on same sail, same board, um, same size mast, but my foils were just not working. And there were so many different combinations that um, at the time I didn't really understand why. Um, probably one of the biggest ones for me was just the size of the foil. Um, I had a, a Nash WS foil, it was about 1300 square centimeters. And, and I just couldn't get it to work unless I was going really quick and it had to be quite windy. So when I was getting up, because it was quite small, it was quite quick, it was very twitchy, so I was, I was ended up crashing quite a lot. And it's amazing to think that now, you know, this is my, this is my smallest foil, and it's a 1500 square centimeter, and this is my smallest foil. And I use this in sort of, you know, 18 to 20 miles an hour upwards, and this is my small one. But the foil that I had, which was, you know, light wind, uh, that was, you know, designed for that, was, was only 1300, and, and no wonder I never got up. Um, when I did actually get uh, onto the foil, I was finding that I was very, very unstable in pitch. You know, I was constantly touching down. It was an absolute nightmare. And this is my this is my um, wing uh, fuselage, which is 60 centimeters. And you know, for me, this is for winging is is quite sensitive, and it doesn't work on windfall. It, it just doesn't work. It's just way too much back foot pressure to get it working. And yet this is actually ever so, you know, it's about the same size as the Nash one that I had. Um, so with a, a Nash foil that was too small, with a fuselage that was too short, you know, I was I was just not getting anywhere. And it was only when I changed across onto on the beach, I tried someone's slingshot kit that, that it, it, it clicked and suddenly I got it. And yeah, and then I could do it because I, the kit was holding me back. And I, I, I'm all a fan for trying to learn and don't blame your kit, but unfortunately that kit wasn't right. So it's interesting really that uh, where I was and you know where my journey to get here you know there were so many um, ups and downs and so many things that I didn't understand and I've had to learn but now it's quite nice for me because I've had to learn those I wasn't just told them because I've actually had to physically go through them figure them out and learn it I now can go out on the water and almost immediately go oh I need to change this I need to change that or I need to adjust this and that's going to work that's not going to work and you know, it, it's 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 good. It's a nice way of um, of actually going about it. But uh, at the time, I just wish that I could have learnt some things a little bit quicker because I'd probably be a bit further on. Um, but four years on, I'm uh, still wind foiling and absolutely loving it. And I'm still winging. I'm uh, sorry, and I'm now winging, um, which I'm absolutely loving. So for uh, the reason I started wind foiling was because I didn't want to give up windsurfing, and it's completely rejuvenated. Um, windsurfing for me and, and being out on the water with a sail and then it led on to winging as well which I absolutely love I, I just think for where we are on an estuary in the UK it, it's brilliant you know and if ever I get anywhere where there's waves it's it's epic um, one of my best memories so far was was a you know a 25 30 second um, wave out in um, uh, Lanzarote and it's just put it in there and I want more of it but I'm also able to go out and catch tiny swells off of where I live, which is an estuary. And, and I would never have ever thought I'd be doing that ever once, you know, with windsurfing and kiting, it was never gonna happen. So yeah, I, I, it's a really good. So um, yeah, so four years on, still loving it. Um, interesting that if you look back at my early stuff and um, you know, where, where I was and what I was doing, and now looking at what I'm doing now, um, it's been good and it's been a really good journey really enjoyed it and I'm still loving the, the, the learning still enjoying figuring it out and just being out on the water so uh, yeah it, it's, it's definitely the sport of the future